today and I'm in the middle of uploading a video for you guys and I turned the computer off and now I'm waiting for it to reboot which that's taken forever so yeah that's awesome nothing's planned today but Savannah wants to go try being a little bit later so just do that and then a whole lot of nothing I have a lot of videos to catch up on on YouTube and that's it my life is nothing right now you guys I'm not gonna say my life is nothing it's just like nothing's going on so I ordered some posters for my dining room table that matches the theme in there and I absolutely love them I'm trying to do this with one hand but it's wood coasters, you guys. Look at that. And it has these little cushions. That way it won't mess up my table. But yeah, I love these. Oh my goodness, I gotta go put them up now. So yeah, I have that right here. Let me turn on the lights so it can be a little bit brighter. It's not as dark as I thought it was going to be, but it's okay. I still like it. I ordered these pillowcase, pillowcases, and I wanted only one, but two came in the package so a little sunflower with the truck right there and then sunflower in the shoes i'm also gonna put it on that chair right there oh and i didn't tell you guys so i got a pot that i'm going to use to repot this plant and even though this pot is bigger than what i thought it was going to be it's okay because now this plant can grow bigger i will do that later I have stuffing that i'm just gonna put in it like pillow stuffing that i bought here is the soil that I got to um, repot my plant. So I'll probably do that a little bit later. Okay, so I only had enough stuffing for one. So I'm just going to put one right here. And as you see, it says, hello, sunshine. So I just put, excuse me, the stuffing in there. And then when I get some more, I'll actually just get an actual pillow, um, a pillow insert. And I may put it right down there. I don't know. We'll see, but it's definitely, the chair is not big enough for both of the pillows. So, yeah. Kind of thinking. I'm just trying to fluff them out. That way it will still look good. Yeah, that still looks good. So I'll leave that as is. And then I will work on that. Oh my goodness, you guys. So we are in the car. Savannah is there. She's about to drive. And I can't show too much because I am in my neighborhood. But yeah, she's about to practice driving. Okay, we are back home now. It's dark. You guys can't see me that well. We went to Hobby Lobby. And we got things for like the garden. Like fairy type stuff. And I got to figure out where I'm going to put it. Oh, uh, well, you can test the other one, see how far you can see, right? Oh, she got a new camera lens and she has a new camera on its way. So she's trying to test her camera lens out on her old camera. So I'm trying to figure out, where do you think I should put it, Savannah? Do you think I should put it behind it or like, I think in front? <gasps> Look, it's twirling. I would have a bunch and I would have this whole thing be a fairy garden. Yeah, I know you would. But and like hanging ones. Oh my gosh, that would look so cute. That would. Okay, let me figure out something and I'll show you guys when I'm done. I didn't get a whole lot of things for it, but <laughs> but she's excited about her lens over there. But I got like oh, you guys can't see. Two fairy houses and all this stuff right here. And I'm gonna just gonna put it together somewhere um by the fence so yeah you guys okay so i have it out here and i just put the houses and the little gate as you can see the home sweet home sign there is a lamp and then the little welcome sign i don't think boston's gonna mess with this he'll probably sniff at it but he won't really pick it up and do anything with it and the other stuff like that fence and the swing I don't know it didn't look too good out here because it was white it stood out I think yeah I mean it's not that fancy but yeah I like it just something different and the pinwheel that was there I just moved it for now because it's gonna be too much if I kept it there so 
Yeah, you guys. They're spinning. Well, they all three were spinning. There you go. I like that. That's super cute, you guys. You know what I just realized? The fairies need a light. So yeah, <laughs> I will do that. Oh, it's cold out here, you guys. I just wanted to come see how everything was looking and I'm going in, it's freezing. Check it out. Savannah got her Is little fairies. Oh, okay, I, I gotta show, <laughs> I gotta show it one at a time. Oh, you put the Christmas lights up here. This is the ones I got today. Oh, okay, I didn't know, I, I didn't know. the excess, so I just hung it up here. Yeah. So, Savannah made a home for her fairies. <laughs> oh, look! Mm -hmm. On the swing. Like looking at the lion. Yeah. Okay, let me show you guys this. So, I don't know if you can see, but the rocks are steps that the fairies can climb up and go into their home, which is right there. Guess which fairy is the messy one? <laughs> which me fairy is the messy one? Wait, hold up. It's just two fairies, right? Mm-hmm. But that's each of their houses. Can you tell which one's messier? This one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's Barry over there. You gotta give them names. It's so oh, yeah. cute. And look at their little picket fence. And then Barry Garden. So yeah, that's super cute. And then up there, mm -hmm. let me show you guys. There's another fairy, but we don't see her ever. Like, oh, the one that's on there. That's right. So we don't see them. there's a little fairy house right there. Focus, come on. I know you can do it, camera. I'm so proud of that one. And then the lights that are up there as well. So, yeah. How are you going to turn those off? You just have to reach in there every single time. Oh, okay. Well, this is really nice. This is cute. I'm so proud of it. I know. So, Thank she you. got, like, the moss and everything and, you, you know, good. put it together. You did really good. Oh, I think it's cute. Look, yeah, look at the little details, the rocks that she can step on, but even though they fly, so. <laughs> okay, y'all. Let's see, y'all. Need the light off. We ordered DoorDash. Okay. We ordered DoorDash and. We do contactless delivery, so they just ring the doorbell. But I hate grabbing the food when they're still there because it's like I'm in my pajamas, in my bonnet. They're still there. It's just right there. It's like they're just sitting there waiting. So we got bowls. I got a keto bowl and Savannah got a vegan bowl, but they added way too much lettuce for her. So she's pulling some out. everyone so today is Easter Sunday happy Easter whenever you guys are gonna watch this it's Easter is going to be over so anyway I hope you will have enjoyed your Easter and spent time with your family the ones that you're able to the ones that you live with I don't know be safe stuff like that well as you can see we had zoom church and it's always good but it was just extremely good today later on we are going to make our easter dinner which savannah is going to make because y'all know she's vegan and even though i wanted something different i am going to go ahead and eat um her vegan meal that she is going to make today and i'm going to make a cake but it's going to be a vegan cake so yeah we'll do that a little bit later and i'll try to make sure i vlog all day today because y'all know i've been failing miserably at vlogging lately and hopefully me having this new camera will get me back in the mood and get me going again you know so yeah we'll see but um just watching YouTube videos, catching up on all my subscriptions because I am extremely behind, except like people that I watch all the time. Oh so yeah, you guys, I'm just doing that right now and that's it. So I just ordered 
boba. Savannah got the green tea matcha and it is vegan and I got the lava nada and I did not mean to pick the larger size but it's still good so it's like a mango and it's spicy and it has tamarind on it if you guys have never tried a lava nada or anything like that it's so good Savannah made dinner she actually made vegan pasta it tastes really good and flavorful I ate it really quick and I forgot to show you guys how it looked on my plate and everything she plated it really pretty and now I'm about to make the vegan cake this right here is gluten-free and it's also vegan friendly so I'm going to make that now so today is Tuesday I am at Nissan of Elk Grove getting an oil change for my car I am back home um, it's just me in Boston that's here right now the girls actually went to Six Flags in Vallejo earlier today so everything opened back up I have a door open so it sounds like somebody's coming to the walkway hold on so anyway Six Flags in Vallejo opened up last week and I don't really go there anymore kind of like been there done that it's old it's small and if you guys still like going there the ones who live close not trying to knock it but I just I'm done with that place now because of everything they are only allowing 5,000 people I think she said in the park and you have to stagger your time in but you can stay till it's closing so I'm like and what's the point in staggering the time if 5,000 is your max I don't know I guess they don't want everyone coming there early in the morning like a crowd so that makes sense so anyway of course you have to have your mask on the whole time and I'm sure the girls will tell me what restrictions they had and what rides are open stuff like that so things are slowly starting to open back up and as long as we're safe about it I think it's fine and as long as people have not people but the places that we're going have the certain restrictions you know we should be fine and eventually you know things will get back to normal and hopefully COVID will just be gone like a thing of the past anyway um I have dinner in the oven which is just salmon I'm gonna have a salad and that's it <laughs> trying to think of what else I was gonna have oh veggies also as well and Boston's eating his cookie that I gave him he's looking for Savannah she's not here she's not here every time it's just me and him he looks at me like what are you doing you need a bath and you need a cut I need to take him to go get groomed anyway so let me show you guys what I got yesterday I ordered it from Amazon so with my camera you guys know I am actually filming on my new camera right now so with my old camera I would just throw it in my purse which did not have a particular slot for it and the camera would get scratched sometimes I go to pick up the camera and the battery would be dead because you know it would get turned on accidentally and that's not good and also I don't know if you guys notice but sometimes when I um, turn on the camera like the shutter doesn't open all the way on the old camera and so I'm like I can't do that again with this camera and so I started throwing it in my purse and I actually have a tiny little scratch on it and you guys can't see it because it's in a spot where you guys can't see and I'm like no I need to buy something that I could put in my purse that's compact to put the camera in so it won't scratch or damage or anything like that because these are not cheap cameras okay so I just got this tiny little compact case and you see the little hooks right there it comes with a strap that I'll probably never use but I don't know I still have it and it's just tiny and it fits in here perfectly fits in my purse and there's a little loop right there I guess people can attach it to things or whatever maybe their belt buckle I don't know but anyway so yes this is what I will be using when I carry my camera around in my purse because the only time I use my handheld tripod is when we're actually going to like a theme park or something like that other than that I just hold the camera in my hand so yeah I know you guys hear my big old wind tunnel fan it's a really nice day today I know I'm just rambling but it's really nice it's like 
75 degrees but it feels like it's 80. Letting the house air out because it was just stuffy because the girls left this morning and the house was just closed in so. Boston! It's probably like what? Want to say hi to everyone? See y'all look at him. He's looking like Scruff McGruff. You probably can't even see because his hair is in his eyes. So yeah, I need to call and get him to get him groomed. Poor guy. Where are you going? She'll be back later. He will probably stay there until she comes home. Well, hello. It is Thursday afternoon, well, evening. Savannah, you wanna tell him what you did? I got a new camera. What kind? I got the Canon 5D Mark IV. Okay. <laughs> And yeah, yeah. I just got it. From she Facebook just got Market. it from Facebook Market. And yeah. I put my new lens on it that I got. Did you show them when I got my lens? No, I didn't. I got a new lens. So and she got a camera what six months ago? On my birthday, for my birthday. For her birthday. <clears throat> and then she's been wanting this camera, which is an upgrade from the camera that she has. I didn't want. And actually, the first camera I wanted was a 70D, which I got. And then I wanted this camera. My next camera is going to be the R5. But that's not gonna be for a while. Isn't that like five thousand dollars? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're just waiting. Um, we went to Carl's Jr. to get something to eat. Anyway, so I had someone come out to give me an estimate on laying cement or brick or whatever in one area of my backyard, and they want ten thousand dollars. Yeah, I guess the price that my gardener is asking is not a lot at all. Trust me. I'm still going to have different companies come out and give me an estimate so who knows maybe I get something a little bit less expensive so yeah I'm really trying to get that done because I want to be able to sit out in my backyard okay Boston we just came back from Winco and come on you know why do you always do this you're free every time I get home and open the crate unless he really has to go potty he just stays there okay you're free now because we don't let him roam when we're gone I think I told you guys that come on okay I'm not about to play with you <laughs> anyway I just got back from Winco and I actually need to put the groceries up look at him he finally went out and he is such a princess just waiting to come back in Come on. <laughs> it's such an inside dog that Savannah, because you know Savannah's his person, right? And so he's always up under her. Savannah can be outside and he'll go outside with her, but he'll whine to come in the house. He doesn't want to be outside. So I'll let him in and then he'll stand at the door and whine to go out because he wants to be by her, but he doesn't want to be outside. He's so weird. I'm Boston. And it's time for him to get cut. Y'all notice he's getting really bushy and full and stuff like that so then I'm going to cook and just relax the rest of the night it's the weekend and I get to see my bug tomorrow baby bug which is my granddaughter where is he oh Savannah's not here right now when we were coming home Shine was on her way out to run some errands so Savannah just hopped in the car to go with her oh I didn't even tell you guys earlier Savannah and I went driving she was driving around so yeah. Good morning everyone, it is Saturday and I am dressed because I think I told you guys we are on our way to Tyreek and Annie's and I get to see my little bug, she's so cute, I miss her. Anyway, um, yeah, and I got on a new dress today, I'll show you guys later. It was one of the dresses that I bought last year before the, well during the shutdown and every time I look at all my new clothes with the tags on it still I think about have you guys seen that TikTok where it's Sofia Vergara and just a lot of different people you know trying on different clothes and they're like bought it couldn't wear it got this too didn't wear it or stuff like that so that's how I feel about a lot of my clothes in there yeah so anyway before we go there I'm going to stop and get something to drink and some desserts because Tariq is barbecuing today, which is great. And then I get to spend the day with my son, daughter-in-law, and my grandbaby. Yes, so I'll take you guys along and vlog what I can because you guys know that you guys won't see her on here because that's their request and I respect that. So anyway, yeah, I'm excited.
Okay, so we're leaving Boston outside because we're gonna be gone a while. Did someone order something? So it was for me. Anyway, my shot glass holder, the one that I have on this side. And yeah, I'll put that up later. Anyway, I was telling you guys that Boston, we're leaving him outside because we're gonna be gone a while. And my neighbor to that side of me is getting her yard cut in the backyard. And Boston just keeps barking and barking. It's like, dude, they ain't got nothing to do with you, <laughs> but you know dogs. So anyway, um, we're almost ready. Then we're so gonna we're go home now. We've actually been home for a while. It is 10 o'clock. I'm tired, you guys. I had such a good time over Tariq and Annie's and spending time with little bug and she's the most cutest adorablest baby ever and yes i'm biased but she is and she was just laughing with us and you know alert more alert and you know how newborns really sleep a lot so she's kind of getting out of that phase but she's amazing and i love her so yeah i know i didn't vlog a lot today but um you guys know the reason why so yeah anyway i'm gonna go to bed because i'm extremely tired and i will show you guys my shot glass case holder even though it's the same one that you guys seen on the other side and this time the glass didn't break so it looks a whole lot better than the other one i know i should have just sent it back in or got a re i don't know whatever but i'll show you guys tomorrow but right now i'm actually about to go to sleep because i'm tired i got up um i didn't get up early this morning but i went to bed super late so yeah, to be continued. So just wanted to show you guys my shot glass holder, which is the same as the other one over there. But this one looks better because do y'all remember when my other one came, the glass was broken. It was like cracked in half and falling apart and everything. And the reason why I didn't send it back was because I got it at a discounted price. Even though it was on Amazon, um, it was a used one. So yeah anyway this one looks better i'm going to hang that right there so they can be on each side and then i have to start going places to fill it up good morning it is sunday and in a little while in 30 minutes we're actually going to have zoom church and i still have my pajamas on but i just put this jacket on comb my hair brush my teeth wash my face all that jazz that way i can be presentable even though it's on zoom and i mainly keep my camera and my mic off I don't know if you guys remember, but I was a greeter at church. So at one point during the service, I would go up there and just greet the congregation. I would greet the new visitors. And if, if there's any birthdays for that week, I would mention the birthdays. So just little things like that. And he still has me do that on Zoom, which is kind of weird, but it's whatever, you know. So that's the reason why I have to at least look a little presentable. And then as soon as my little segment is done i turn my camera off so i'm gonna watch a video on youtube really quick about how to repot your plant because i still haven't done it yet oh no michelle time anyway i am finally going to do that today i'm gonna make myself do that today after zoom church and yeah i haven't eaten breakfast yet i probably uh i probably don't have time before a zoom church start because i want to make bacon and eggs and stuff like that so um yeah, and then I have some waffles in the freezer that I can eat. Um, I may have time, I don't know, but I kind of just woke up, so I'm not hungry yet, but I want to eat before Zoom church, but I'm not, so I don't know, I'm just rambling. Okay, so church on Zoom is over. I've eaten breakfast already, and now I'm about to plant, repot my plant, so let's do that.
bought it and everything that I learned I learned from YouTube but I had to add a little bit more um, soil when I got it in the house because it's so bright outside and I couldn't see that I've missed a few spots but yeah hopefully Heather will grow bigger and thrive even more y'all I have kept this plant alive almost a year because I got it during the shutdown so I'm actually proud of myself so it's much much later I know my TV is extremely loud anyway I have on Reba so I can just listen to it while I cook but asparagus for dinner I mean that's not the only thing but I'm preparing asparagus right now